Hello there and welcome to part 8 of this tutorial series in which we're going to scrape the followers that the user has as well as the following. Now the following are being referred to as friends in the API so we will use that term for the following. So we have followers and friends. As an example I'll be using my profile so ideally by the end of this tutorial we should be able to have the IDs for all 93 followers and 79 friends. So let's get started. I'll remove this last line of code from the previous tutorial as it of course doesn't add any value for now. And we're going to create one function for each. So two functions in total. First one, scrape user followers. When we're scraping the followers, of course, we would like to have only the username as an input from our side. And then the output would be a list of all the IDs of the users that in this case, are following my profile. What we need to do is, of course, as we need a list, first let's create a followers list, followers scraped, which would be completely empty for now. And then let's get the user. So user is api.getUser, which would be actually using my username. So the one that we'll be using in this case is k underscore Ristovsky. And then for i, and then ID, and I'm using this underscore first because otherwise you see that the color is changed, which means this is taken by Python already. In enumerate tweepy.cursor api.followers underscore IDs screen name equals username dot items. And what we've done here is basically we're going through all the followers that this user has and we're using TweetPy cursor that solves the pagination issue. So it doesn't show a limited amount of uh, followers, but all of them. Here dot items, you can specify if you want a certain number to be scraped only. So for example, if we have 50, it would only scrape 50 followers. If you don't specify anything, it would scrape all. And in this case, I would like to scrape all, so I'll leave it empty. So let's print i and underscore id, which means it would start from zero, it would go all the way. In this case, it should be to 93, or should go to 92, excluding 93, of course, since it starts with zero. And then it should print also the id of the Twitter profiles that are following my profile. But then we would also like followers, scrape to be appended by the ID, right? So we would like to have these IDs so maybe later on we can interact with them. So followers scraped dot append ID and then once we have this done, return followers scraped. There are a few ways that you can do this, but this seems to be, I think the most straightforward and it's in my opinion, easy to follow. So followers would be equal to scrape user followers and then in brackets k underscore Mistovsky. This should be sufficient. And let's see. So we have starting from zero going to 92 as expected and then we have the ID which currently if we try to access for example let's first check the length of followers right that's 93 followers. And then if we print followers, basically we get all the IDs and we can interact with it, which is actually the next tutorial. If you want to see how you can follow um, Twitter users, if you have the ID, of course, you would not want to follow maybe the same people that are following you, but maybe there's someone that you admire that's on Twitter and you would like to follow the same people as that Twitter profile. Now, let's focus on the second part, which is the following or the friends. And actually, that's not that different from what we already created. So what I'll do is I'll comment. Actually, I'll leave this one in, but I'll copy this one and make a copy of it. So it's exactly the same, except we don't want to scrape the followers. We want to scrape the friends or the following. So. I would expect to get, 70, to, to get 79 IDs scraped. This we're going to change to friends scraped. Here, instead of going through the follower IDs, we would go through the friends IDs. 
we would append it to our new list, which is friends scraped, and we would return friends scraped. So as you can see, these two are actually like structure wise are exactly the same. Instead of accessing the follower IDs, we are accessing friends IDs. And that's the only difference that there is. And let's run this. So friends would be equal to scrape user friends. Again, using my profile. And it should be fine. As you can see, it goes up to 78, of course, starting from zero. We have successfully scraped all the 79 following or all of the 79 uh, profiles that I follow. And here are all the IDs. So I can tweet to them, interact with them uh, or extract the, any kind of information that if you are interested in will be um, covered in the coming tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, of course, please let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for following until the very end.